everyone here's a question from square and square root and the question is find the smallest number by which 60 must be multiplied to be a perfect square so which means 60 is not perfect square perfect square what a perfect square perfect square the number where you can find out the square root easily for example um, 49 so square root of 49 is equal to 7 because uh, 49 can be written as 7 into 7 so it is perfect square similarly 16 is a perfect square because it can be written as 4 into 4 so like that here 60 is not a perfect square we have to make it perfect square so how, how we have to make we have to multiply with the smallest number so they are asking what is the smallest number you should multiply with the 60 so that this another number after multiplying will become perfect square now this type of questions are really important so how to solve this so in case they ask you what is the smallest number to be multiplied or divide then you have to use prime factorization method right now in case they ask you find the smallest number to be added and subtracted in that case you have to use a division method so here i'm going to use a prime factorization method because they're asking smallest number to be multiplied so we're going to find the prime factorization of 60. so here we go so 60 is a small number now we're going to do a prime factorization so you should take only prime numbers so here we have 60 i'm going to start with 2 because it goes in two tables so two threes are six then write down the zero we got 30 so again 30 goes in two table two 15s are 30. again 15 doesn't go in two tables so next prime number is three so three fives are 15 and then five doesn't go in uh, any other table except itself so five ones are five now 60 is equal to what I got here 60 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 right now if you see the perfect square numbers the prime factors what you got here they will be in a proper pair okay proper pair means for example let me take 16 here okay I'm just taking example 16 so 16 will be equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into yeah so you can see i got a pair of this is first pair and this is second pair right so here if you see 60 is not perfect square i'm not getting the uh, factors in pair i got one pair of two pair means in a set you should have a same common factor the same factors right so two for two i got one set but for three and five there is a no pairing right so to get to make it perfect square i want one more three and i want one more five so perfect square numbers are going to have a proper pair of prime factors but here it is not there so i have to introduce one more three and one more five so that there will be a proper pairing and the number will become perfect square so i have to multiply here with one more three and one more five got it so same three and five are going to multiply on the left side also because you cannot do everything on right side it should be balanced whatever you're doing on the right side you should do on the left side also so let me just erase this so here 60 is equal to like 2 into 2 let me just write down then 3 into and then into 5 into okay so here i have to multiply with 1 3 and i have to multiply here with 1 5 so that you can see this is forming a one pair this is forming a one pair and this is forming a pair I got a proper pair right and so I have introduced 3 and 5 here same 3 and 5 I'm going to multiply on the left side also that's it now they have asked you what is the smallest number to be multiplied so I have multiplied two numbers one is 3 and one is 5 so 3 5 is a 15 so 15 is the smallest number by which you should multiply with 60 to get perfect square I hope it's clear now we're going to multiply this so here we'll get 60 multiplied by 15 is equal to so 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 now 60 into 15 will be 900 15 6 is 90 so 90 and then 10 so 900 so 900 is equal to the same thing 2 into 2 now you can see we are getting a proper pair here 3 and then here I got 5 into 5 now this is not necessary your answer will end up here what is the smallest number to be multiplied it is 15 I hope it's clear we have multiplied 3 5 is 15 it's not 3 it is not 5 since we have got two numbers which we have to uh, pair up so 3 5 is a 15 will be the smallest number so therefore 15 is the 
smallest number to be multiplied now in case they ask you for the question that what is the square root of it so here 900 is a perfect square but what is the square root of 900 so square root of 900 will be nothing but from each pair you take one one factor so from here I'll take one factor 2 from here I'll take 1 3 and from here I'll take 1 5 so just multiply so 2 3 is a 6 and 6 5 is a 30 so 30 so square root of 900 is 30 and uh, in case they ask you further like find out the square root then this step you have to do it otherwise you can leave it you can just stop here in this step that 3 5 here at um, second last step that 900 we got the answer and 15 has the number to be multiplied so I hope this question is clear now in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching